one is Tali Carr and the HBCU Game Day Fast Break is coming to you from Talladega College in Talladega, Alabama, hanging out with the Tornadoes. And this week's Fast Break is brought to you by Subject to Change. Before we get into a little NAIA flavor here, let's go to Greensboro. Wally Pitt, one of the biggest rivalries in HBCU sports. North Carolina A&T and North Carolina Central. Wally, I know you had your hands full in Greensboro. Thanks, Tolly. Yeah, I'm here in Greensboro at Club Corbett, as they like to call it. And uh, you find me at HBCU more lit than a and and I'll pull up on you and shoot. Because the atmosphere at Corbett Center today was crazy. They like to talk about them Cameron crazies down the street in Durham. But these Corbett crazies were litty. As for the game, both the Aggies and the Eagles played very well. a and was down double digits in the second half and just roared back. They had the energy from the football team. Big Baby Graham was here. Tariq Cohn was here. Ice train all day. Just a great game for Corbett Center. We're going to take you to the highlights and the scores from around the MEAC. This one was all tied up at 28 at the break thanks to this sweet fadeaway bank shot at the buzzer by North Carolina Central's Raekwon Harney. NCCU came out swinging in the second half. They went on a 20-3 run in the first seven minutes. They would go up 48-31. Rasheen Davis went for a team-high 15 points, but then them dogs got loose. Denzel Keys was balling on them like he had his football jersey back on. He had 15 of his 20 points in the second half, really putting the Aggies on his back with a bunch of tough grown man buckets. Aggies make all the plays they need to down the stretch, and they get the win in the Aggie Eagle Hoops Classic 70-64, and they beat Central, so you know they stormed the court. We had a great one here in Greensboro. Now let's check out the scores from the rest of the MEAC. On the men's side of things, Howard beats Maryland Eastern Shore 85-75. Freshman R.J. Cole scored 28 points in the win. It's his ninth straight game of 20-plus points and 11th in 12 games. He leads the MEAC in scoring with 24 points per game. And did we mention he's a freshman? Savannah State beats up on Dell State 106-86. FAMU gets the close win against Hampton 75-71. Coppin State beats South Carolina State 73-65. Let's go to VA for a second where Norfolk State ends Bethune-Cookman's MEAC perfection with this Stephen Whitley drive to the cup to give Norfolk a 71-70 win over Bethune-Cookman. That's such a sweet drive. We got to see that from all three angles. Good looking out on the footage, Norfolk State video crew. And with that dagger, Bethune-Cookman is now tied with North Carolina a t for the top spot in the MEAC. Let's take a look at the ladies hoop scores from tonight in the MEAC. Maryland Eastern Shore beats Howard 58-52. Delaware State thumps Savannah State 93-79. North Carolina a and wins the lady side of the Aggie Eagle Hoops Classic. Alexis Lasaris goes for 13 points and 15 boards as the Lady Aggies hold off North Carolina Central's second half rally for the 67-54 victory. Hampton squeaks by FAMU 66-65. Coppin State beats South Carolina State 56-39, and Bethune-Cookman beats Norfolk 58-51. All right, back here at Talladega College, hanging out with a very good young basketball team, the Magic, they're from Gaston, Alabama. You might see some of these kids in the CIAA, the MEAC one day. Speaking of the CIAA, a pretty good, intense rivalry in Winston-Salem. Johnson C. Smith, Winston-Salem State. Our Stephen J. Gaither was there. Stephen, take it away. What's going on, everybody? Stephen J. Gaither, HBCU Game Day. We're coming to you live from the Game Center at Winston-Salem State University. Johnson C. Smith just pulled off a 76-75 win over the rival Winston-Salem State University. Uh, it was another heartbreaker for the Rams. They had this game leading all the way through. Fell off at the end. Christian Kirchner, Kirchner's uh, free throws at the end sealed it for Johnson C. Smith and then the defense. Really big win for them. Winston-Salem State's woes continue as they are now on a uh, seven-game losing streak. And so uh, we got a month left to go to the tournament, Thomas. It's a tournament atmosphere out here. A lot of uh, big plays, a lot of physical play, and uh, it was a fun one to watch. For HBCU game day, I'm going to pass it back to Tally on the fast break. You got it. Okay, thanks, Stephen. Let's go through the rest of the CIAA scores. Virginia State loses at home to Bowie State by 10. Lincoln over Chawan. 
We just told you about Johnson C. Smith and the Rams. Fayetteville State with a close win over Shaw. Elizabeth City State just gets by Virginia Union and St. Augustine's over at Livingstone, 75-69. On the women's side, Virginia State, they continue to win over Bowie. Chawan over Lincoln, Winston-Salem State, they don't get 100, but they get the win over Johnson C. Smith. Fayetteville State big over Shaw. Virginia Union, a school record 19 straight wins. Someone break up the Lady Panthers. Also a little nugget from that game, Alexis Johnson had eight blocks. And St. Augustine's with the win over Livingstone. All right, we've been to the MEAC. We've been to the CIAA. Let's go to the SIAC. I know you're distracted with everything going on behind me. <laughs> All right, the big game this weekend in the SIAC. Clark Atlanta is off, but Morehouse looking to remain unbeaten. They are at Payne. Would Payne do the job and give Morehouse their first loss of the year? In a word, no. <laughs> Let's check out the SIAC scoreboard. Yep, nice try, but Payne falls short just like everyone else has this season. Morehouse, 83, Payne, 73. All a little upset here, though. Claflin drops one to Fort Valley State, 69 to 58. Benedict just barely gets by Albany State by two. Lane with the win over Kentucky State. Spring Hill, big over Skiggy. And Central State gets the win over Lemoyne Owen. On the women's side, Benedict over Albany State, Claflin over Fort Valley, Lane a winner over Kentucky State, Spring Hill by 20 over Tuskegee, and Central State, the Lady Marauders over Lemoyne Owen. My name is Kelsey. And my name is Lily. And we are students at Fort Valley State University. And you're watching HBCU Game Day. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's move over to the SWAC now. And the game that a lot of people are looking forward to actually doesn't happen until Monday. That's going to be Jackson State UAPB. But we do have some games on Saturday night. Texas Southern on the hill at Alabama A&M. Jackson State taking on Valley. Let's look at the scoreboard from the SWAC. And don't just think you can pencil in a win because you're playing Valley. Mississippi Valley State with the win over Jackson State. A five-point upset there. Alabama State over Prairie View A&M. Southern big over Alcorn. Rambling. <laughs> Talk about upsets in the swag. They just squeezed by UAPB 69 68. That might take a little shine off that Monday matchup I was teasing. And just barely, Texas Southern trying to find their footing. They squeeze by on the hill by two points on the women's side. Mississippi Valley State makes it a clean sweep over Jackson on Saturday. Alabama State over Prairie View. Southern over Alcorn. Grambling with the win over UAPB and Texas Southern over Alabama A&M. And finally tonight, the highlights that you've been waiting for if you're a big fan of Talladega. It's a rivalry night in the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference. Tukaloo College making the trip to Talladega. It's a whiteout night. Let's take a look at the highlights. So Talladega heard the fast break was coming to town and they show us how to run it. Arkeas McGee on the finish. Man, he's tall. For Tugaloo, that's Tonzel Handy making his way to the basket. Hey, more from McGee. 16 points, 14 boards. He's still tall. The Tornadoes can go inside or outside. Devontae Dixon for three. And it was just a one-point game at the half. Second half. Give me that. Octavian Porter with the strip all the way to the bucket. But there was just no answer for Mr. McGee. Talladega gets the win over Tougaloo, 78-70. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference. Suno goes down at Dillard, 111-72. We told you about Talladega and Tougaloo and Philander Smith over Edward Waters by four on the women's side. Man, those lady tornadoes of Talladega, they run the fast break like a tornado, and they shoot the three like no one's business. A big win over Tougaloo before the men's game, 100-64. Also on the ladies' side, Dillard with the win over Southern University at New Orleans, and Philander Smith falls to Edward Waters. 
Tennessee State University over in the OVC taking on Eastern Illinois in a doubleheader, and it's a double win. The men get the win, 52-47, and the ladies show up and show out with an 86-68 win. So we had a lot of fun on the HBCU game day fast break this week brought to you by Subject to Change. We came from two different time zones in Talladega, Alabama, hanging out at CST. And we had some great MEAC and CIAA action for you as well. I'd like to say thanks to everyone who makes it possible here. Wally, Steven, Lena, Galan, and a lot of people that you don't even see. We'll have more fast break action for you later this week. You can always catch the fast break on YouTube. You can catch it on Facebook at hbcugameday.com. But we would really love if you would download our apps. You can go to the Amazon Channel Store for free and download our Fire TV app. And you can go to the Roku Channel Store and download our Roku Channel app. And, man, you can catch it all on the big screen. Hey, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great week.